You might own or rent a flat, maybe even a big house with a garden. You are the center of your life. You have a family and friends you visit. Maybe you have to drive for long or even have to fly around the globe and get the feeling that they are living really far away. But how far is it really? Where exactly do we live? It is the only planet we know of where life exists and we call it Earth. It's a small blue dot circling a star we call the Sun. In between 25 to 27,000 light years from the center of a galaxy which we call the Milky Way. In our supercluster called Virgo, on the edge of an even bigger supercluster, we are calling Laina Kea, immeasurable heavens. And that still is not everything. Are you feeling small right now? Who are we and where do we come from? As long as the earliest human records, we have focused our view on the stars. All these little stars so far away. A view into our past, into the past of the origin of everything. Over 100 scientists gathered information for over 20 years, covering a gap of knowledge of 11 billion years creating the most accurate map of the universe. They collected data from more than 4 million galaxies and quasars, using various methods and telescopes and summarizing all our understanding of the universe and what it looked like for the past 12 billion years. And now we can look at it, the map of our space-time, the history of our universe. And soon we might even be able to tell how everything might come to an end. But how have they been able to create a map like this? Basically, they looked around into every direction and discovered as many galaxies as possible, comparing them with the cosmic microwave background radiation and trying to point out their exact position. When we look at this picture, you can notice that there are still two black parts where no galaxies or quasars were seen. That is because our Milky Way is hiding them from us with its foreground patches of galactic dust and clouds in the so-called zone of avoidance. It makes up around 20% of the extragalactic sky at visible wavelength, meaning that we cannot visually catalogue galaxies due to our galaxy blocking the view. But let's move slowly from the outer ring to Earth as our viewing point. You can see the outer line of the huge bubble that's where we could read the first light of the cosmic microwave background. And then comes the huge gap of blank nothingness. The dark ages of space. Look at this huge gap. You see more of what we don't know than what we know. And then the Extended Baryon Oscillation Spectroscopic Survey, or EBOS, was able to measure the spectral line of hydrogen, the Lyman Alpha emitter galaxies. They are among the oldest objects in space we know of, very early active galaxies. Let's look at the yellow dots here. They are kind of my favorite because I love quasars. They are really fascinating to me and here, on this picture, we are able to see millions of various types of quasars. They are really bright and are covering around 5 billion years of existence of the universe. Now, let's move closer in on our home planet. Here we can see the bright light of young blue galaxies discovered within the past 6 years of observing the universe. These young folks are the future of our universe. And here is an older part of the universe, the luminous old red galaxies shown in red and violet, covering time into the past of about 6 billion years. And that's a time around when the universe's expansion started to accelerate and is picking up ever since. Scientists don't have all the answers yet. They do not have a physical explanation of why acceleration is picking up. But they are assuming that the phenomenon called dark energy is responsible for it. Dark energy makes up around 68% of our universe, plus 27% of dark matter, leaving us with only 5% of visible matter. Meaning everything we know and see makes up only 5% of what's out there. And scientists were able to ask a lot more questions whose answers must be found again. One instrument to find the answers will be DAISY. 
The dark energy spectroscopic instrument will measure the effect of dark energy on the expansion of the universe. Observation already started in 2019 and we can be looking forward to its results of measuring the light of about 35 million galaxies. Will we be able to see the true picture of the universe one day? Of everything there is? And yet again, everything we are able to see on this map, as big as it seems already, makes up only about one thousandth of a percent. 0.001% of the existing universe we are thinking exists so far. Only a tiny fraction of everything there is. 4 million galaxies out of possibly trillions and trillions more out there. Let's take another look at the map. The green dots in the middle. This is our home, with our nearby galaxies and our own supercluster called Virgo. Superclusters are the biggest known structures in the universe, regions of space that are densely packed with galaxies. Right next to the dark voids in the intricate net of galaxies, the cosmic web. Its gravitational center is a Virgo cluster and its first member was discovered in 1771 by Charles Messier. Not too long ago, we thought that our supercluster would be about the size of our universe until someone came up with the idea to look even further and we discovered the Lanyakea supercluster. Lanyakea means immeasurable heavens in Hawaiian and is one of the biggest structures discovered by humans. Its size is approximately 500 million light years across and about five times bigger than the Virgo supercluster. And still you'll find 100,000 more galaxies around it. Recently, analysis suggests that contrary to first assumptions of this supercluster being a relatively stable structure, that within the next few billion years some of these clusters will separate and drift away. Everything you can see here, all of the superclusters are interconnected with each other and even moving together. And scientists have struggled to define where one ends and another begins. Astronomers at the University of Hawaii, led partly by Brent Tully, started to study the motion and gravitational forces to find out exactly that. While the universe is expanding rapidly, this is an unusual area with an unusual gravitational pull. And most superclusters and local groups are being attracted towards this mysterious great attractor. Everything inside Lainakea is organized around this area. This great attractor is said to have localized concentration of mass thousands of times more massive than our own Milky Way, causing most of the galaxies to move towards it. Scientists created a map of cosmic flow to visualize the path of the movement from all these different galaxies. Every single dot is a galaxy. You can see the distribution of motion in La Inakea. They are able to first define a supercluster whilst following its flow and boundaries in this cosmic map. Here you can see La Inakea in black and our neighbor supercluster Perseus Pisces in red. You can tell where the flow of galaxies diverges and that is the area where neighboring clusters share apart. And in this supercluster called Laniakea is our Virgo cluster, containing about 2000 galaxies within a diameter of around 150 to 200 million light years and the shape of a flat disk. Flat Galaxy Society? Anyone? While zooming in further, you can find our Milky Way in our local group, consisting of minimal 54 neighboring galaxies. Our neighboring galaxies are mostly dimmer and smaller than the Milky Way. The nearest biggest ones being the Triangulum Galaxy and Andromeda. We and Andromeda are moving towards each other at a speed of 120 km per second. Meaning one day it'll be as bright in our night sky as the Milky Way and both will partly form a new giant elliptical galaxy in around 4 billion years. But until then, our home address will remain at an outer spiral arm in the Milky Way, around a star called Sun, on the third planet moving around it, Earth. Our home and the only planet we know of where life exists. I hope you enjoyed this journey through our universe. If so, remember to like and share. What are your thoughts about our flat galaxy and are you looking forward to see discoveries by Daisy? Will we ever be able to get a complete map of everything there is? Tell me in the comments, have a wonderful week and remember to check in next week for more exciting news. <laughs> Only about one thousandth of a percent. No! Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Steven. <laughs>